Hi there. I'm about to visit if you guys are recording a new song in the studio. Why don't you come along and let's see what they're up to? I haven't told they're using Cubase 6. Okay, we're now at the Half and Clown studio. As you can hear, the guys are already rehearsing. Let's see who else is here. Hey, Mark! Hey, what's up? <laughs> what are you doing? As you can see, we are recording, mixing and editing everything in the box. And now it's Taman's turn to lay down his drum part. It seems we've just showed up at the right moment. Looking forward to hearing the guy's latest song. Wow, Tamer nailed his part on the first take. That was a super tight performance. But what if he hadn't played that accurate? With Cubase 6, we can glue any drummer's performance to the grid and make our song sound professional. Cubase 6 is loaded with new features to make editing faster and easier. But wait till you see what we can do with drums. First, Cubase 6 has more sophisticated hit point and tempo detection. It's based on volume and it lets Cubase hear the beat the way you do. The hit points are much more musical than before and you can even tell Cubase which parts to pay attention to. With the hit points in place, it's time to slice. Now you can quantize live drums just like MIDI drums. You can change rhythm, fix mistakes, or even extract MIDI notes for complete drum replacement, all right from the editor. Cubase will automatically create crossfades for seamless transitions, and it can fill in the gaps too. Best of all, your tracks will maintain phase throughout the process so you won't run into comb filtering or artifacts. Cubase 6 also has powerful new tools for tempo detection. Say you want to synchronize your Cubase project to a pre-recorded audio track. Simply select the track, select Tempo Detection, and Cubase automatically calculates tempo, enters time warp mode, and creates a tempo track that will lock the project to the audio. The Tempo Detection panel also has tools to fine-tune its calculations and deal with unusual time signatures. There are new tools for vocal comping, too. First. Use the lanes function to lay down multiple takes. Then, slice those takes into musical sections. Now, click on the parts you want to hear. The other takes are automatically muted. You can turn parts on and off with a click to build the perfect composite track. You can now edit multiple tracks at once using group edit. Let's take a look. Say you have a guitar part that was recorded using two mics and a direct box. In the past, you'd have to edit all three of these tracks separately, which takes time and invites mistakes. But check this out. First, I can move all three tracks into a new folder in one move. Then, turn on the new group edit feature. Now, edit all three tracks like they were one track. Cut, move, duplicate, or delete. Cubase now lets you edit your material the way you think about your material, and do it in no time. Cubase 6. Edit faster. Yeah, nice.
Very nice. Great. Sounds good. That's the new VST AMPRAC in Cubase 6. The emulations in this plugin sound really nice. At Steinberg, we had a lot of fun making and tweaking these, and the day usually ended in one massive jam session. I can imagine. Great job. <laughs> One of the coolest new features in Cubase 6 is the VST Amp Pack. This amazing processing suite is destined to become the new standard in amp simulation. You can mix, match, and control every aspect of your signal chain, from effects, to amplifiers, to cabinets. Then you can choose between two studio grade microphones and even set their placement and distance. You get 16 classic stomp boxes in all, each recreated with meticulous attention to detail. Every parameter in the VST amp rack can be automated for incredible studio work. Or, they can be mapped to hardware pedals for an all-in-one live rig. Cubase 6 has new tools for the keyboard player too. Introducing Halion Sonic SE, a streamlined version of Steinberg's flagship workstation, Halion Sonic. Halion Sonic SE contains hundreds of sounds, thousands of combinations, endless possibilities. Halion Sonic SE comes loaded with dozens of sounds based on the original Yamaha motif waveforms. Halion Sonic SE comes with an updated and extended version of the Halion 1 sound library. Note expression ready and BST 3.5 compatible. But if your tastes run more to the club scene, you'll have a lot to do with Loop Mash 2. You now get slice level editing, drag and drop loop construction, drag and drop compatibility with Groove Agent 1, but best of all, 24 awesome performance controllers for stutters, backspins, table stops, and more. There's also a free 90-day trial of the Halion Symphonic Orchestra VST Sound Instrument Set, a stunning collection of orchestral sounds which are perfect for composing, scoring, or soundtracks. The Halion Symphonic Orchestra VST Sound Instrument Set features full note expression capability. Not only is there a free 90-day trial included with Cubase, but it's available as a free upgrade for existing Halion Symphonic Orchestra owners who can continue to use their existing license with this new version for Halion Sonic and Halion Sonic SE. Cubase 6, make some noise. Hey, Stefan. Hey, Kieran. How's it going? Fine. We just checked some of the new features in terms of audio editing, but Cubase 6 comes with many other tools that don't want to be left untold. Tell us a little bit about them. Of course. QA6 boasts never-before-seen MIDI functionality. The new VST Note expression humanizes lifeless MIDI recordings in a way that's simply ahead of its time. And I do believe that with this remarkable feature alone, we once again are undergoing a revolution at Steinberg. <laughs> Sounds great. With VST Expression 2, you're about to witness one of the biggest changes taking place in music production since we came up with ASIO and VST technologies. This time, we're revolutionizing MIDI by introducing the Note Expression Protocol. Until now, MIDI notes and MIDI controllers had to be recorded and edited separately. But Note Expression unites the two. You can now see and edit MIDI controller data note by note. Select a MIDI note and Cubase 6 shows you all the associated controllers. Velocity, pitch bend, 
modulation, you name it. And you can edit each one graphically and independently. And with note expression, when you move a note, the controller data moves with it. But even more remarkable is the fact that with note expression, the controllers only affect that note. That's right, you can now reach inside a MIDI chord and apply controller data selectively. Pitch bend or filter sweep just one or some of the notes in a chord. The only limitation is your imagination. Well that, and you do need a compatible VST instrument. But remember, we invented VST, so we've got you covered. Speaking of controller lanes, Cubase 6 now allows you to add dynamics and articulations right in the key editor. And these will translate directly into the scoring functions of Cubase. Take a few moments to set up your dynamics mapping, and your VST instruments will follow right along. To make mapping even easier, many of the Haley and Sonic SE sounds now have their expression maps built in. Simply click to load, and your expression map is set up in no time. Cubase 6, be prepared for the revolution. Hey guys, I'm leaving. Thanks for having me. Hi man. See you soon. Okay, see you next time. Back to music. <laughs>